So I'm thinking I'm going to cut my hair today and I kind of wanted to show what some of the gray and stuff is looking like and it's going to be hard for me to see it or maybe to view it on camera but there's a lot of different like white hairs. I don't know how visible that is. And um, on the other side, if I part it on the other side, you can also see it. I'm going to try to make it kind of obvious. So I'm not sure how easy to see some of this stuff is but there's a lot of like gray white hairs sometimes when I part it or when I don't part it you can't tell like from the middle but there's like little pieces here and there so um, if I cut it all off I'm thinking I'm gonna do really really short so like pretty close to the um, the scalp and everything and I'm kind of wondering if after it grows back it's gonna be a lot more gray and white <laughs> so that'll be very interesting I'm hoping to be able to donate this you know length of hair um, in some way. I know that there's a little bit of like question from the hair people that I have like a little bit of color from when I colored my hair and so that will be a question as to whether they can either accept that or chop it off and still have enough to donate or what's going on with that. So we will see but I just mainly wanted to kind of document the white hairs and sometimes it looks like there's more white hairs than it looks like right now. I don't know what it looks like but um, yeah, <laughs> it's really interesting to think about what it might look like when it grows back and I think that all the white hairs come from stress or whatever. Um, I've heard that that's what can kind of happen so I think that's what happened in my case but well, yeah, we'll see what happens as it grows back out or you know gets longer again. I didn't get it buzzed or anything like that, but like, ah, that's crazy. I don't know how much you can see of that or if you'd be able to see. So we've tried to, the person cutting it did a lot of interesting things to it to like help me see what I could do with it. And I'm gonna have to get used to that. I'm actually not 100% sure I like love it, but it's different and it's really crazy to see it so short. And yeah, we'll see if I can kind of learn how to style it and do some cool things with it. So yeah, <laughs> I'm going to get used to it and probably everybody else's too. <laughs> it's Tuesday and I think I like it a little bit more than I did a couple of days ago, but today it was I don't know, a little different looking, I guess. I don't know. Still kind of getting used to it, but today I liked it a little bit more at work. Put some hair spray and gel in it yesterday to kind of test out what I might be able to do with it. And some of the stuff was still in there this morning, so it was like I really didn't do anything to it this morning, but um, I'm starting to get the hang of the fact that I don't have to wash it <laughs> half as frequently and that's kind of nice because it I just wake up and it like I keep whatever this is happening here and I kind of just comb down the back so working on it.
Institute is called Wigs for Kids. Not to be confused with another organization with a similar name. It was very important to me personally to find an organization that does not charge the recipients or the families for receiving these wigs. So Wigs for Kids definitely does not do that. If you're interested in hair donation or even donating yourself, I recommend looking into this organization, but also do your research to find the best organization for you or the one that fits you. I'm very passionate about the idea of donating my hair or you know, just organ donation or blood donation in general just because it helps another person or it can save someone's life depending on what you're donating. And it, it's really quite simple and easy. I mean, it's just a, it's a haircut. You know, I just continued chopping off my hair. If I've got hair, I mean, I might as well cut it off, right? <laughs> And you know, share the share the wealth of hair if I can. So I kind of am secretly planning to just keep growing my hair out and then cut it off again and just keep doing that. It's something that I hope to be able to do for the rest of my life. Of course, it's a personal decision for everybody, but I was really glad to be able to donate my hair, especially for an organization for children. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.